Hey everybody, welcome back, Trailer Reaction Time, and today we got one of those blind trailers, meaning I'm going in blind and know nothing about it. We're gonna watch trailer number one for Polaroid. Sounds cool, looks like a horror movie, looks like a monster grabbing a head in a thumbnail, so I don't know, we're about to find out. But if you wanna watch this trailer without me in the way, there's a link in the description below, or something's popping up right about now, you can click on that, check that out, come on back, watch this with me, and then we'll geek out over it together if it's geek out worthy. It probably is, I'm a sucker for movies, I'm especially a sucker for horror, so if it made it to this trailer site, it's probably a good one. So I guess we're just gonna get to it, cause it's a blind trailer, I got nothing to know, nothing to say, so we just click all the buttons, and get things rolling. For some reason this is in 480, by the way, no HD. I don't what that's about. Let's see. Hey, I found something. What is that? It's a camera. Are you ready? <laughs> is anybody there? This antique store. This is so cool. Try it out on me. Good photo. Come yes. On. Smile. Oh, my God. <laughs> you work with Tyler Drew at the antique shop. Yeah. What are you talking about? You see the shadow? After Tyler died, the shadow moved to this photo. I think if the shadow moves to your photo, you die. If it really freaks you out, we can get rid of the damn thing. Don't! Problem solved. What the? Oh! oh my God. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Sometimes to deal with tragedy, just we make up urban legends. Except this wasn't an urban legend, this is real. He's coming. You did this. You took the photo. Ah! It's moving. Ah! Um, overall, that looks pretty good. It does not look great. It does not look go to theater great, but it it does look cool. It reminds me of those like late 80s, well, early 90s, I guess, really, mid 90s Dimension films, since it's from Dimension, but with some modern cool twists that we've not seen in things. So I'm down. Like when, when she they burn the picture and the girl catches on fire and it won't go out till they pat it out and then the picture rebuilds. That I've not really seen before. So that's really cool, though, at the same time, you have all these other tropes we've seen a million times. But then instead of her tripping, she knocks her head on the lamp. But then it's like there's one light source in the whole room. You're going to knock your head into that. So I don't know. Um, it's got a lot of potential. There's a lot of cool ideas in there. I was thinking it's like a Needful Things or Friday the 13th type, 13th uh, TV series type episode at first, you know, about the cursed objects kind of thing, which, of course, just made me think of Rick, Rick and Morty. But um, other than that, though, I mean, I'd give that one a shot. You know, that's at least a Netflix, maybe a Blu-ray if it's, like, not not a title prices. Um, so, you know, I'd be down for that. So Polaroid, there you go, guys. What did you think about that one? Did you know about it? Were you excited for it? Did that get you excited for it? What was your favorite part of the trailer? Let me know. Geek out with me in the comments. I'd love to hear y'all's thoughts. That's what we do this for. I forgot that for a while, but it's about you guys and us and all of us partying and being the geeks we want to be. So let's get back to that and let me hear your thoughts. Other than that, click that thumbs up button. Give me the good old thumb of encouragement because it is wonderful to be encouraged. All right, I'm going to get out of here. Go watch some more stuff. I'll see you all later.